Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear viewers, we will continue 20 storied commercial building design course in Protai Structure 2020. Today is part 2. This is our final model. We will finish the model, then we will go for analysis, design, and detailing. I am uploading the course as part by part tutorials so that I can explain all the steps in details what we will see in this tutorial modeling ramp landing beam for stair modeling basement wall shear walls and their adjustment to mesh with architectural layout modeling columns with insertion point modeling flat slab and applying floor load on flat slab today we will model up to basement roof so let's start here we can move this grid so that it can be in the same position here in the middle of column move 200 press F2 200 enter so here slab accordingly this waste slab accordingly moved we can delete this plan also this plan also now we can model our ramp go to basement roof here we can go to external reference drawing from here we can change our history number click on ok so that we can view the reference drawing in this level ramp 250 mm 20 mm cover load dead load i will provide 2.0 kN per meter square then right click we can see the loading live load value garages passenger vehicles 1.92 this loading live load slab does not contribute to floor diaphragm so click on this go to peak points ramp will start from here 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 so this is our ramp and this side also this side ramp similarly we will go for plan definition here minus 4 meter minus 4 meter peak point close this one now right click move member to plan yes so this moved stair and ramp modeling done here we can provide landing beam so go to landing here go for beam here we can see the beam width 350 millimeter from this point to this point this one matching with the grid is so we can move it upward using arrow key of keyboard
now go to basement roof from here we can model basement wall go to wall here story will be 2 because there is intermediate story for landing level so story will be 2 here the shear wall thickness we have considered preliminarily 350 millimeter 350 so extension we can take half of the shear wall thickness 175 175 start from here now we can draw our core walls same this one we can move down using our arrow like this and here we can edit the ex extension zero update and this one zero update or we can provide this one j zero update same way we will go for other walls So our corner shear wall modeling done. Now we will model lift core wall 350, 175, 175, E0. So from here to here. Share wall for lift core also finished. Now we will model columns. Here the columns will come from basement also. Here are some columns available. So click on this 900 by 400 column size and story. We have to be careful, we have to type 2 because there is intermediate story for landing level this side For this position, it will be like this corner. As, as in this side corner, as 
is is now we can change 400 by 900 click on this like this and the other side this one this one this and this one now internal columns are 900 by 900 so column modeling also finished here this is in middle move little bit down to match with the share all edge we can we can select the columns then press arrow like this to match this side also some columns Four hundred by nine hundred. Click on this, this, these two columns will be moved down. Next, these two columns will be moved up now all the columns press control to unselect the share all left arrow to mess with the share all edge this side also select press control and unselect the share all then move right side this column should be moved Okay. Now all the column positions similar to our architectural layout. Now we will model our slab in base roof. Click on slab. In this project we will use flat slab without any beams. So here I will take 250 millimeter. After analysis and design, we will finalize the thickness to 50 millimeter preliminary selection. Now, beam or axis region. In this case, we can use peak point. Like this, we can turn off other members. Go to view, go to display, column, wall, axis select all the slab press control and 
deselect the ramp and this one and this one we will define right click slab table here we can select all the cell and then 2.0 kilo newton per meter square press enter and here live load 3 kilo newton per meter square 3.0 press enter this will change all the loading values close now we can check properties here load 2 and impose load or live load 3 this and this one right click properties here we can provide 2 press enter here we can provide garage done close now we can see all here more two columns still balance go to model here press like this this now this column position we can move up now here we will model 200 mm 20 load 2 dead load and this is there and exit way here in this floor level this can contribute to floor diaphragm here we can go for axis region or peak point close Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.